Hi, this is Ginger with my sister Scrapper. I have a quick little project to share with you today. Um, in my stash, which is what I've been working on, is all the stuff I have in there. I had a little balsa box that I got from Michael's in the dollar section. And, and I had looked for them for quite a while. Uh, my Michael's didn't carry them, so it took a long time for me to find one, but I did. And I had some paper left over from the Prima Almanac collection, the 6x6 six six paper pad, for my mini album project, and so I went ahead and used that paper to alter this little box. So what I did first was I painted the box with some black craft paint on the inside and the out, and then I went ahead and laid my balsa box down on my paper and traced it and then went ahead and cut around and used some Mod Podge to adhere the paper to the little wooden balsa box. So I did the sides the front here, which is all one piece, the side and this little front piece. And the original box has a little wooden knob and this big wide elastic brown band and I took that out and replaced it with my own little closure which was this little button with the bling and then a, th a thinner little black elastic to match the design paper. So on the top of the box I had um, some of those little tags left so I, the little one with the bird and the little eggs, I thought it was darling, I added some little bling here at the top and then I had this little key charm that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I put that on there. And then these are three of the little clay kind of roses that I got from my friend Monique Mason at Butterbee's Craft. Hey, Monique. And this one is white, and I sprayed it with um, some Lindy's Stamp Gang and the Cape Cod Coral. And I also used my uh, Tim Holtz Walnut Stain to go over the top. And the black ones were already black, but I went ahead and spritzed them with some Glimmer Mist in Black Magic just to make them sparkle. Punched out a couple of leaves with the Martha Stewart Rose Punch and inked around the edges with the Walnut Stain. This little paper flower here and there's another one back here were actually created with some Prima paper that Monique Mason had made for me. And um, so I just stuck those on there as well. I thought that they were really cute. And those are the tattered florals from Tim Holtz Dye. So what I did was I added a little piece of trim lace around the bottom edge all the way around and then you open the box up like this and inside um, I didn't paper the inside I just left it black I have a little mini album and then that's the inside of the box again I just left it plain black so for the mini album uh, I just use some little scraps of paper that I had left over and I put a little velvet piece of trim here on the spine and this is a little sticker that I know this was actually from the packaging of the Prima flowers from the mini album project and I just cut it out and put it on some foam tape and layered it on top of some of the design paper and this is a little label that from the design paper and I cut that out again I inked around the edges with walnut stain you open it up and each of the pages is exactly the same they're kind of small but I have a little label here on the inside cover with this little label that says note and you can write the date or something on there. They all have a flower on there and a leaf and then that was it because they are really, really tiny little pages. And I did get it kind of thick, but it does just fit in the mini album. I probably should have maybe not put the last flower on there, but anyway. So I have the little script paper here with the black rose that uh, is made out of the little clay that I spritzed with the black magic glimmer mist and the leaf. And then over here, so one side has the flower and the other side has a little tag with another little label on top. And these were the labels that were cut from the design paper. And again, it was a six by six paper pad, so the images are kind of small, which made it nice for this little tiny mini. So this is the little tag here with a label on top, again on some foam tape. And then the rose over here with the script paper, another label, and it does say, I would not change anything about you. And then this is the pink flower that I spritzed with the I use Sunset Peak on here too and Saltwater Taffy. I used a bunch of the new Lindy's. I got some new Lindy's um, at Christmas time and I was practicing with them. A little leaf punch here. Again, here's another little label on top of a chipboard lab, uh, tag. Again, the little rose here with the little leaf. And the last page has another little chipboard tag with a label popped up on top of it. And the inside back cover just has the um, little rose here with the leaf. And then there's the back. I used the twall paper to 
to match the outside of the box. So that's my little project. It's again a little balsa box that I altered from Michael's in the dollar section and I made a little mini album to go inside. So there you have it everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye!